when this England squad's announced, everyone obviously goes into a, a mini sort of meltdown, don't they? Everyone's like, oh, who's, who's not been picked? Who has been picked? Is there any obvious player that should be in the squad, obviously obviously removing injuries, that you think, well, one second, why, why are they not in the squad? And if they're not in the squad, that's probably that that then in, in terms of their chances yeah. for the Euros. Is there anyone that's a bit obvious that should be in? No, there's, there's a couple that I think are unlucky kind of not to be. Like, Who? Like Dominic Solanke's done really well. Yeah, but 16, like 16 goals Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I, but I... You know, Ivan Tony's Ivan Tony. You know, he's, he's come back off, off, off his ban and, and he's, you know, he's unlucky to... To, we say that like Ivan Tony's got like fifty caps for England. Yeah, that's what I mean. He hasn't, but he that's, hasn't, but that's what, I mean. what I mean. But he was like kind of the next in he line, was, but had a long close, time out. He, that's yeah. why I'm saying Dominic Solanke's probably a bit unlucky because he's mm. been consistent in that time and played and scored an, an awful lot of goals. Fantastic, you know. Goals and look at the goal he scored goal. last night. Unbelievable yeah. goal. Um, Incredible. So he's unlucky just to not in this period where Gareth can just have a look at people. He's unlucky not to get in. Mm. Um, your boy Harvey Elliott. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's I like done him. well. I think he's been really good. I think I think he's almost the problem he has is almost a bit like the issue Cole Palmer. I think is going to have eventually where he kind of plays in a few different positions. He's played, yeah. he's kind of filled in for Salah a couple of times and on the front of that uh, front of the right front three. Yeah. Yeah, he's played in midfield as well. And you look at England's options sort of going forward mm. and even in the midfield, and it's going to be it's difficult insane. for him to force. His I think way. it's about right though, Eddie. If I'm being honest, it's not Ross far- Barkley. He's done well for Luton again for for the sentiment vibe and you know he's played well and you're looking at the midfield options actually and we do look at we look like there. Um, we, we not only do we look like I, I look at look, I look at Jordan Henderson's name yeah. there and Ajax have been awful. Always going to happen. Been yeah. awful. And by the way, I mean it, it, it was even dropped for a few games for this awful Ajax team. Yeah, and he's in. And I just think he's Gareth almost got to be in, hasn't he? Because Jude's now a ten. Yeah, just, uh, Conor Gallagher. Really is a ten as well. He's playing yeah. that because but, Enzo and Caicedo yeah. are quite defensive. Madison is a a ten. <laughs> Declan Rice has now become quite a forward thinking midfielder. It's crazy because Jorginho. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of a sudden, I guess Jordan's got to be there because there are no defensive midfielders in this squad. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you can't go with Calvin Phillips, who you know it's been really Certainly. tough for him since he's got to West Ham. Um, Kobe Mainu, way too young, not ready yet. And yeah. that's that's what I mean. That's what I mean about sort of Harvey Elliott. And I'm not saying he's a. He's a thoroughbred holding six because yeah. he's not. Curtis but Jones would have had a chance then. Curtis Jones has done yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, there were some shouts, that, you know, the Ward Prowse one. Yeah. Um, you know, last couple of games maybe hasn't started, mm. maybe a few, but, you know, he's been in there. But the Ross Bar- back to Ross Barkley one, I just, he, he's, he's been playing better than Jordan Henderson this year. Yeah. That's for sure. 100%. Um, operating at a high level, but Gareth Southgate's always going to have Gareth Southgate's guys, isn't there? Yeah. And, and, and Jordan clearly is one of yeah. Gareth Southgate's guys. Uh, someone who might not be Gareth Southgate's guys, Ben White. Who yeah. is not in the squad? And look, by the way, look, Arsenal fans, I think you think you need to calm down a little bit because uh, you should <laughs> always be in the squad. I mean, we well shouldn't always be in the squad because no. I mean, there's Trent, there's Reese James, yeah. and there's Carl Walker on that. And he's not better than any. And he's not better than those three when no. they're on fo- when they're on song and he's on song. No. He's not as good as them, but he should be in this squad. He's asked not to be in this squad. Yeah. I think when you listen to Gareth Southgate's press conference, it's not just this squad. He's asked to not be in previous squads as well. So you kind of have to scratch your head. As, what's going on there? Doesn't want to play for England. Some, some. I, I, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that Ben White doesn't want to play for England. Well, under this, under this setup, he doesn't. Yeah, under this setup. Yeah, and, under this setup, he doesn't want to play. And it's funny because He's falling out with somebody. Yeah, something's happened. But Gareth's always been sort of labelled as that almost a guy that can sort of put out fires in yeah. the England camera. He's got all the players talking now. There is mm. no club versus club issue in the England squad. So it surprises me that this problem has come to light. Because there clearly is a problem. It isn't yeah. just a case of I've decided that I don't want to play for England anymore. Because yeah. it's every kid's dream to play for your country. Absolutely. Um, and and some people, um, you know, take a serious light on that. Like mm. you know, you shouldn't turn your back on your country. You know, you should. You should. You know, it's, it's a privilege to be able to put on the England shirt and, mm. and get England caps, um, which it is. But there's, you know, he has sort of come. He's, he's a bit of a character, isn't he? Of like, I've, I've seen some interviews where yeah. he says, I "Don't really." He's not, he's not really a football fan. He's not he? really yeah. a football fan, and you know, so maybe that doesn't mean that much to him with something that's gone on. He's like, until maybe Gareth and his coach and staff leave, this is just in my opinion. Mm. I'm I'm happy to not play. I, you know, some something's happened Clearly. because because really, with Trent being out, mm. with Carl Walker not being the yeah. best version of Carl yeah. Walker, Reese James being out, Kieran Trippier, Kieran not Trippier playing at the not moment. playing yeah. at the minute. 
Ben White should be in the squad. One hundred. It should not only be in the squad. He probably start. It should be starting. Yeah, he's he's it, been he covers really you really well. A centre back position. Really he can cover. You know, we're looking for a holding midfielder. He can do that role as well. But I tell you what, though, Joe Gomez has been that guy yeah. this season. Mm. Joe mm-hmm. Gomez has played left back. He's played right back. He's played central midfield in, in a couple of games. He's been absolutely brilliant. So for someone who doesn't want to play for England, they've also got a utility man in Joe Gomez who's had a really high level of performance this year and does deserve to be in there too final one on Ben White Gareth almost makes it sound like he's reached out to him a few times and, and, and that sort of reach out has been rejected surely that's it then I mean he should he's be not re- gonna play, like, he's he not should gonna play. not be in this Euro squad should he of course regardless. he's not, of course he's not. No, I mean regardless of if Trent doesn't make it through injuries yeah. and Reese James he no. shouldn't be picked you can't again. just call him up and say please we're light on numbers okay. will yeah. you reconsider no you've you made your decision you don't want to play for England under this manager on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.